One of the most common questions I get from a lot of beginning car guys is, you know, I've got a problem with this electrical circuit on my car and I can't find the fuse box anywhere in the whole car. And really what it comes down to is in a, fuse boxes didn't even exist in cars until, you know, starting in the early 1960s. You know, so most cars, you know, 1950s and older are going to have what they call circuit breakers. Well, they're going to have two kind of protections. They're circuit breakers and inline fuses. Some items will be inline fuses, like if your car has a, a clock or a radio, there may be an inline fuse. And, and, you know, I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with those. And those are usually the tube electrical type or tube glass tube type where they come apart and there's a little fuse inside. Uh, so there are a few circuits that are protected by fuses, but for the majority of cars, like even this 57 DeSoto back here, you know, it's protected by three main circuit breakers. And the circuit breakers in the car, you know, aren't, you know, this is actually the circuit breaker out of that car for the power seat track. And the way the circuit breaker works is if there's a short or it becomes overloaded where normally a fuse would blow, the circuit breaker pops, but then automatically resets itself. There are a couple of different kind of circuit breakers out there. There are some where you have to manually reset. They have a push button or something that you have to reset. But for most car use, you'll see this auto reset type. Now with that said, uh, over time, uh, they can get too sensitive or they can snap openers you know, without so and not return. So it's a good idea when you're restoring a car, like this car back here, is to replace these circuit breakers with new ones. You know, the new ones look a lot like the old ones. Um, and you know can pretty much you know inter you know fit in with them they're all rated uh if you look at your fuse blocks you know they'll be like this one here is rated for a 20 amp fuse uh, and that tells us that at 20 amps uh it will blow it'll pop and when i say it resets itself you know usually they'll reset themselves almost instantly so they'll like pop and they'll go pop on off on off on off on off and I've had a case where like I wired a circuit wrong and, and I popped the circuit breaker and all of a sudden my interior lights were popping on and off and on and off. And I knew right away that something, I had a short somewhere that was uh, causing the circuit breaker to pop. So then that's a good time to just, you know, pull the battery, go check your wire or pull a hot lead off your, the ground lead off your battery. And then you can go find that, uh, find your fault fix or you know repair what's uh, actually causing the short condition and and not try to just keep overworking your circuit breakers so and when you get back into the 30s a lot of the 30s cars you know you'll find that like uh, these circuit breakers may not look like this little block here they they sometimes you know i know like on like 30 mid 30s fords it's a big you know a big block that's usually up behind the uh, instrument panel and you know, you got to go hunting, finding it, but just, it's a matter of doing, you know, some basic electrical circuit tests and find out what's blown and why it's not working and uh, isolating that circuit breaker. And you can certainly replace that original circuit breaker with a, a more modern uh, design too, just uh, because it's under the dash, you're not going to give up all that much in authenticity. Uh, yet you'll have the convenience of knowing you can go to the hardware store, go to an auto parts store and get a new circuit breaker for your car. So before you start looking for that fuse box, consider your car may be old enough that it has circuit breakers instead.